little mama. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Trek Law Brit. I'm back again with another video. All right, so if you watched my last video, then you know I fucked up my truck, okay? So the plan today is for me to drive around and get a couple quotes. And I'm thinking I'm finna spend somewhere around 1500 two grand. Hopefully it's not no more than that. I'm trying to find Jose. Where is Jose when you need Jose? But anyway, so tell me why I come out here and this is what I find. So not only do I have this ugly damage, how do I get a flat tire? If it ain't one thing, it's a motherfucking nutter. It's been here all weekend and everything. Like, and plus, I made that video about this like two weeks ago. So now I got this flat tire. So it's kind of pushing my day back. Good thing is, I learned my lesson the hard way the last time when I was trying to find San Jose. Where's Jose? He ain't really messing with me. And I was just like, man, I need to get my own tools. So I got my own tools. And I'm finna just go ahead and change this little tire here. This is going to be my first time changing my tire with the new tools that I got. So. All right, here we go. Shit. It's a change in the tire, Brittany. It's not like I'm doing brain surgery. I'm over here like, oh my God, I got to change the tire. Like, this is a part of my job. Let me, let me like chill out and act like I done been here before. Damn, little mama. You know you thick as hell, you know what I'm saying? Matter of fact. I ain't gonna hold y'all like I'm just a beast at doing this. I'm low key kind of learning. <laughs> I done changed my tire. I done changed this exact tire before with like the factory jack and stuff, but I ain't never used this. Put the jack underneath there. I got a 20 ton jack. But now I'm finna go ahead and um, I guess kind of loosen up the nuts. That's what she said. <laughs> so I guess I need to figure out which one fits. Right here, first one. I guess I do kind of know what I'm doing. You sure about that? Okay, this is going out. This one's going in. It's the wrong side. What am I doing? All right, friend, how you put this in here? How you put this in here? Much, much later. Oh, you just gotta push it hard, type shit. All right, let me see. So here the old tire right here and this is what had happened right here so it looked like i ran over a nail and the nail just stayed in the ground and it was just slowly leaking away so yeah uh it just left a big old hole right here so i'm gonna try my best to plug this myself so that literally took me like 30 minutes to do it. i ain't gonna hold you like 30 35 maybe 40 to do but i already detached my truck and my trailer yeah i'm gonna go i guess see if i can get that tire plug and then go around and get quotes. I need to get this fixed ASAP. All right, y'all, so I'm at my mechanic spot, actually, and I'm getting a power on the load. And so while I'm at it, I'm gonna go ahead and get them tires filled up. Got my boy right here helping me out. I don't know. That's not my boy. I'm just talking. I'm just trying to get some help. But no, nah, this is like my main mechanic. Nobody else touch my truck. When you see the play like that, you already know what's up. I'm out here in the country. Got this engine right here. Got it nice and strapped down. Plug my tire. 
So yeah, it was just like a haul. Not a big deal. I ain't got to spend no more money. And after I drop this off, I'm finna go ahead and get my quotes to fix this truck. All right, so I'm at Dayton Freight. All right, y'all, so I made it to the uh, body shop. And look, it look like I'm finna go see Jose. Look like I'm finna go see Jose. See, I'm like, yo, yo, collision repair. That's exactly what I needed to see right here. So, I'ma go ahead and do it. He says it's gonna be like 1800. It's gonna take two weeks. Might as well go ahead and do it. <sighs> Thank you, my friend. Okay. Gracias. De nada. All right, I saw the way go. Two weeks later. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Truck Lover. I'm back. All right. Last time y'all loved me, I messed up my truck. All right, so I didn't get this part right here fixed yet. So that's gonna be next. But look, baby, it cost me $1,800 to get this fixed. I need to get a load. So I'm in Nashville right now. I'm literally like, I'm probably like 15 miles away from my crib. So boom, book this load. It's going to Harry, Harrison, Tennessee, something like that, up there by Knoxville. So it's like two hours away. Bet, called the broker, got 525 for it. And yeah, hopefully I'm really trying to look for something else. Cause the good thing about these little short runs, you can do two a day. Two a day, you'll make a check. If you get one a day, like that's all right. But like, I'm trying to run it up. I right? I just spent $1,800. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get my little money back, okay? So this is what I'm getting. And shoot, I hope this ain't gotta be tart. I don't think rebar gotta be tart, right? They got it inside the building though. Hold on, let me check my rate con. So yeah, no tart. Big. The thing is, so um, it's like they built like a little barrier. So they put like the long pieces on the outside and then put all these like little small pieces in the middle. I'm just sure to work. Alright, so they done. I guess I gotta continue my search a little bit later, but I'm gonna hurry up and get this on out of here because I got to go. My direct broker just takes me shit. Should I take it 500 miles? 1400. Ooh, 14,000 would be nice. 1400 divided by 500 miles. I'm gonna take that hoe, run it. So I'm pulled up here to the side of the road. Baby, you can look all fat. Yeah, so I booked that load. Who tuning at me, baby? I ain't no prostitute. Oh, uh, so I booked that load going to Kansas City. So that's picking up tonight. So I need to hurry up and drop this load off so I can reset my clock. It's gonna be like an overnight type of thing. But yeah, for right now, let me go ahead and get this little Waffle House. My little fat ass. I done got real slim. I'm trying to get my little weight back, baby. Give me, give me triple eggs. Damn, little lady. I'm confused and they got the little sheriff coming over here. I'm confused. I'm How are you doing, sir? I'm looking for TVA. Uh, 1521 Blair Road. Okay. All right. Okay. All righty. Thank you. I hope so. <laughs> Have a good one. Officer, I don't know where I'm going. All right, let me.
real tall, like for real. People passing me. My bad, y'all. Shit. I don't know who I'm supposed to call, bro. Can't never be nothing smooth. I'm sorry. My bad. Cars passing me and stuff. They just not answering the phone. This is not a safe place to be at. Um, I'm looking for the TVA. You know where the TVA substation is? Up the road. About a mile. Is it TVA? Yes, that's all we have around here. Okay. Well, hopefully it'll be a little bit safer than where I am right now. Yeah, I mean, there's an area for a while. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. Baby, look, I'm trying to tell you that I'm not in the I'm not in the safe location to pull over. Even the police pulled me over, another civilian to pull me over. Y'all help me out. I should have got a police escort. I should have got an inspection. Inspect my sh Are you at it, officer? But yeah, Rowan, Rowan County. They good? Y'all good over here? So I'm going to, he says about a mile down and it ain't nothing around here. Damn, I just got to get to this other low. Baby, I'm going to Kansas City. I'm excited. I'm just, I'm just basically driving blind. I don't know where I'm going. I'm just driving. 12 seconds later. Man, let me call this broker again. Trying to get another number. Hey, I need you to try, try harder. I don't have anywhere to turn around at. This is just... Saying I'm going the wrong way, boy. How the U.S. government property not open to public beyond this point. Ooh, trespassers may be prosecuted, baby. I'm going this way. I don't know. I'm lost. Why is my windshield wipers not? Come on, wipe. Now I'm on government property. Don't know where I'm supposed to go. Damn near over here with the aliens. Huh? A few moments later. Like they telling me to turn in there. That's over with. That's over with. They telling me to turn in here. I'm not doing it. Like I'm not turning in here. These folks look like they gonna shoot. I don't. Even, I gotta back all the way out the street. Ain't nowhere for me to go. Back all the way out. So when I get to the road, I don't know what I'm gonna do for real. When I get to the end of the road, that's gonna be the hardest part. I got an idea, I got an idea, I got an idea. I got an idea. I'm gonna have to pull in here. Come on, windshield wipers, wipe, shit. I'm gonna have to pull in here and back out and try to turn around.
All right, y'all. So I done made it to the pickup. They finally called me back in. Baby, it's cold season. This right here ain't gonna cut it because I'm cold. I'm cold. So this trip right here, you go a 500 mile, paying $1,400. When these frames was popping, they was paying us at least two grand for 500 miles. And then they started really popping, popping. Then they started paying us. fueled got my friend rolling with me so we finna go ahead and rock out this little late night shoe y'all it's the next day i just got a reload i'm so thankful i got this reload so let me hold on hold on, hold on, hold on. let me pull up get out these people way and then i'm gonna tell y'all what i got going on okay right. it is cold all right so boom drop this load off got a reload so these reloads are like our bread and butter because now I don't have to deadhead all the way back home, which is over. Oh that's 500 miles. And I don't have to get a load from the load board because they already got a load right here for me. So I don't have to deadhead at all. So that's the benefit of having you a little reload. So now I'm going to just take this back down to where I picked it up from. And hopefully by the time I get there, they'll have another load for me. Yeah. It just sucks that it's so dang cold. My pores going to be open. I think I'm gonna go over here to the Lowe's because hopefully they got a little, some chicken salads. Later that same evening. Yeah, so I done came to the fuel island, right? And then when I say it was on dump, man, this person did not pull up. So what I did was back right into the fuel island. I backed right in. Yeah, like you ain't, you ain't pulling up. So I gotta back in. Top of the morning. Yeah, so. Again, yeah, I unloaded, and I ended up getting another load. Yo, let me get those things off. Let me try to get these uh, air protectors off. Choo. I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you. Appreciate it. Got my little reload, about to drop that off. About to pick up another set of frames. Baby, listen, this is why I like these frames, okay? So I got my load, y'all. But baby, I had to stop. I'm a little famished. Okay. Stop and get me a little waffle house before I hit the road. Listen, if they ain't got roaches, I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, ma'am. I'm gonna place it to go order. Thank you. <laughs> can I get the All Star? And then on my waffle, can I make it a blueberry chocolate chip waffle? You gonna make it? Maybe. Maybe. Okay, make it good for me. What's your name? Stephanie. Stephanie. <laughs> I already trust you, Stephanie. Is that it, honey? Uh, you got sweet tea? Mm -hmm. Who made it? Third shift. Third shift? Yeah, it was made about four o'clock this morning. You think it's good? Yeah, it's still pretty good. Can I, uh, can I just get like a little swig of it yeah. just to make sure? I love like sweet I tea said, now. it should be fairly fresh. I'm from the south, so. Mm -hmm. Let me get that. Let me get one to go, please. So I had to come to Walmart. I was not prepared for it to be this cold. So I came here to get a couple of sweaters, well, really long sleeves, and then I need a coat. $54, boy. I don't need this first shit. What a, what a cheap stuff at. All right, y'all, so I made it. Finally got unloaded, and I ain't get no reload this time. But anyway, so I guess we got to get a load out the lawn board tomorrow. So they got a loves like across the street. I'm going to go over there, park up, 
and be looking for a loan for in the morning and hopefully I find something because I ain't trying to be in Kansas City. The next day. Yep, so that's what I'm taking right there. Alright, so I just dropped that off. About to wrap up my straps. I got another load about 30 minutes away. I'm finna go pick up. And then, yeah, we finna head down to Memphis, Tennessee. Shoot! 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 Alright, y'all. So, I got to my next pickup, right? So, the broker told me this is gonna only be 2,000 pounds. Baby, this looks like way more than 2,000 pounds. So, I said something. They was like, oh, this is actually 5,000 pounds. So, you know what I have to do? Call the broker. Get a little bit more compensation. They ain't give me much, but a, a little bit counts. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to take this low regardless. But now they got it on my neck. Don't ever be scared to tell these people, move this shit back. I thought it was going to be 2,000 pounds. I do not want 5,000 pounds on my neck. The next morning. Hey, y'all. So I made it to Memphis. Shoot! 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 And unload it. It's Friday. You know what? If I don't find another load, I'm just going to go ahead and go home. I done made a good little week. You know what I'm saying? See how much I made. Minus fuel, yeah. It's been a good little week. So yeah, that's how y'all do it. That's how y'all make about six bands in a week. Four days. It's a possibility to get a load today, but I ain't sweating it.